Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, it's time for the 2022 European Championships. Let's get ready for drama for our mamas. I want to start my prediction for this event with the men's competition. With Mikhail Kulyada out of the running, I think the podium will go to anyone who can deliver two clean programs. After seeing the men at U.S. National and how clean most of them skated, I want to have hope that we'll see something similar at Europeans. As I had previously said, I don't think Kulyada should be sent to European, and I'm glad that he decided not to go. And so now we can have the other Russian men compete and we can have more data in order for them to pick their team for the Olympic. So now with three young Russian men competing, this is the way I think the podium standing will play out based on who should be there competing. I can see Maurice Vitalashvili winning this event. He'll probably do so with a little help from the Iteri bonus and the judges. But I can also see him finishing last. With Maurice, you never know what you're going to get. But Maurice will only win if the Russian men all fail to deliver. However, if any of the Russian men come to play, I can see them winning instead. In second place, I believe it will be Andre Mozilev. I can see him having a tough short program, but coming back in the long. If Andre managed to win this event, then he will definitely seal the deal and get himself a ticket to Beijing. In third place, I see Yevgeny Semenenko. I think Yevgeny will probably have the opposite of Andre Mozilev in that he will likely have a clean short and he will lose it in the long. And just like Andre, if Yevgeny wins this competition, it will book his ticket to Beijing. In fourth place, I have Mark Kundratut. I have him as my pewter and just off the podium. Unlike the other Russian men, Mark is very likely going to Beijing. So for him, this competition does not come with as much pressure. However, if Mark managed to win this event, he would now be seen as a dark horse for a possible medal at Beijing. And I do like Mark as a skater so much, so I would love to see that for him. Then in fifth place, I have Daniel Grasso. I think Daniel should do enough quads to finish in the top five. However, if the other skaters falter, Daniel could easily medal or even win this event. In sixth place, I have um, Dennis um, Vaisilev. I think Dennis will probably be top three in the short program. However, without the quad power, he will fall in the long program. However, this will only happen if those with quads deliver. If these men fall short on their quad, Dennis could easily be on the podium with a clean, beautiful program with all triple triples. Rounding off my top seven, I have one of my favorite skaters, Kevin Amos. Kevin can easily podium at this event if he delivers what he's capable of. However, this has been a very tough season for Kevin, so I'm not sure if things will play out and if he'll be able to skate at his full potential. So taking everything into account from what we've seen from the men so far, I think the podium will most likely be Maurice um, Vitalashvili for gold, Andre Mozilev for silver, and Yevgeny Semenenko for bronze. However... My dream podium is Kevin Amos for gold, Mark Kunjatut for silver, and Evgeny Semenenko for bronze. I'm picking Evgeny because I just want them to send Mishin with two skaters instead of them having to pay for an additional coach. I, I, I want to see Mishin on, that, you know, on the board watching the skaters skate. But what do you think of my prediction? Let me know which men you have on your podium.